Here we have Sang Bogonko with us, former True Player Development captain and recently promoted True Pro Development player. I'm not sure he even knows he was promoted. That's something I just made a decision very recently. He's an inspiration and example for all our True Player Development players, and I think even our True Pro Development players, even though he's about as young as you can possibly be, and we just made a decision to put him in the program. So we want to talk about his story. He's been with us for about four years now, so... We're going to go through different parts of his story, what he's done on his own, what he's done through the program, how it's different, um, everything he's done in the program. So do you want to tell us a little bit about, you know, your situation before coming in, maybe what team you were on, what position you were playing, anything that you want to share your experience before coming into us? So when I came into Coach Kyle, I just got demoted down to the second team and I wasn't, I was a little low on confidence, low on playing time. and. I was playing right back and I wanted to make my way back up to the first team. That's fantastic, Sam. Appreciate that. And do you remember some of the things Kyle told you um, in relation to maybe your position after seeing your first touch and some of the other characteristics you had? Yeah, so Coach Kyle said I had a good first touch and that due to my just size and physicality, I should maybe think about starting to play midfield instead of right back because in the long run I would probably be more successful if I played center mid. So I started to buy into that and we started to shift from right back drills to center mid drills and working on different types of passes and like hot dribbles and different things like that and it's really boosted my confidence and now I play midfield on the first team. That's fantastic, saying, and uh, we appreciate everything. And you know, your first touch is definitely very, very good, above, above average, and that's something that's very important to center midfielders. And when you watch skills your whole life, you can you can kind of see where players are strong, where they're ex you know exceptional at, and then say, hey, this is what's very valuable in this position. So we're happy to have helped guide you there. And, and to be honest, I think right now you're turning into a center mid that most coaches want. So you said you're on the first team now as a midfielder. Is there anything else that's happened in the recent months, you know, that was a little bit, maybe not surprising, but if you look two and a half years in the past, you're like, you might not have seen yourself there. Uh, recently, I was invited to the Youth National ID Camp for the region, and I was a little nervous leading up to it, but with we, I got in some sessions with True Player Development to prepare for that, and after the camp, uh, I got some positive feedback from the national team staff from Coach Kyle, so it went pretty well, I think. Yeah, saying I think saying did fantastic. We spoke with some members from the national team staff that were there, and they gave us some feedback on his performance, things he can continue to work on, which was fantastic. And you know, we're we're really proud of him either way, just for going out there and representing his club, us, and just himself as a person. Everything he's done for the players that are that are kind of following him in his footsteps. So we already use him for an example, but we do you know involve things called what we call pro work, right, for our true player development players where they have to go and work on their own skills. So I, I think you did a lot of that. We guided you, but we can't take credit for the pro work. That was you, right, and the, the time you put in. So I don't know if you want to speak about pro work at all, what you did during COVID and your commitment. Yeah, so over COVID, every, because it was online school, during the lunch break, I'd spend the entire lunch break just playing in my garage, working on my first touch and other fundamental skills. And then after school, I'd play for another 30 minutes to an hour, just trying to sharpen up so that when team trainings did start again, I'd be at the top of my game to try to get back up to the first team. And uh, pro work is basically working on the things you work during the session outside of the session and outside of team trainings. So you have to make time for yourself to really improve because you're not going to improve just in the sessions. I mean, you are, but to really go, to really reach your full potential, you have to be the one who puts in the work. You have to be the one who decides that you want to set time aside to work on different skills to improve. Yeah, that's fantastic saying. And to be honest, I think you've turned in more than anyone else these last couple of years. And we have some people that turn in a lot, but you've been really fantastic with pro work and now it's pro prep we're, we're asking you because you're a newly promoted true pro development player you and your brother have been fantastic with this tell us a little bit more about the the, the hero work part of uh pro work so the hero work is uh, attached to the pro work slip and it's basically doing things to positively impact the world outside of soccer and so me and my brother tutored refugees so that they could pass something called the access test which would allow them to participate in like 
the classes with everyone else instead of being kind of separate from them. And after a whole year and a half of one hour a week tutor sessions, they were both able to pass that test. So just hero work is just trying to inspire you to be a good person because it's good to be a good person in, and a good player in soccer, but more importantly, true player development tries to teach you to really be a good person outside of soccer and to carry yourself with that. Couldn't have said it better ourselves, literally. Couldn't have said it better. That's fantastic. Saying we're so proud of you and what you've done with the refugees and just all the pro work you've done and, and the person you are, and that's way more important to us, like you said, than, 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 than who you are on the field. And we try to use the game as an example, right, for players. And, and if, you know, if you, if you take care of other people off the field and you, you're the best person you can be, you make a different positive difference in the world, the, the game will, will pay you back, right? And you'll get to enjoy your time on the field. And, I, I believe that's what happened to me and I believe that's what's happening to you right now. So we're so proud of you saying and, and you know, like I said, your accomplishments on the field are awesome, but what you've done off the field is more important and the person you're becoming off the field is more important. So so you've done other private training organizations before true player development. We know that and we think it's awesome that you've tried some other things. What do you feel the difference between true player development and some of these other private training organizations that you used before were? So at other programs, it's more of just you're going through skills that you're already supposed to know. They don't really teach you. It's more of just doing reps of skills. But true player development actually teaches you how to do those skills because I've gone to other programs that like expect me to go through this dribbling course and make an accurate pass when I didn't know the technique to make that pass and I'd fail over and over again. But at true player development, it's just reps and going through the action of how to hit the ball, where to hit it, how to strike it, and all of that, just so that you can perfect like the simple things, because those simple things go a long way. And it's more of just working on those different techniques rather than all these flashy stuff. Your ability to be technically sound has really separated you. And when we spoke with people, we got feedback from that regional national ID camp. We said, we, we heard that your technical ability is what separated you. So. We are so uh, proud of you, man, and, and all the work that you put in. So we would also like to talk to you about maybe a mentality you cultivated, maybe a person you've become because of everything you've done at True Player Development or just something that's happened in the process. Well, now I'm, I'm definitely more confident in my ability to, to play and I'd starting to show more on the field as well. And the men mentality wise, I've started to realize that hard work is going to be how I'm going to improve and I have to keep on putting time outside of team trainings and other things like that just so that I can work on myself and improve that way. And then through true play development, it's also kind of teaching me that being a good person is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing that you can do. So I've been trying to be uh, help out the world and try to make a positive impact on others as much as I can. That's fantastic saying and you are an inspiration to, to us and you're an inspiration to already so many of our players, right? And, and I know that you're doing everything for the right reason and, and you just doing what you're doing and being the person you are means a lot to our program and, and has meant a lot to our program. So I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for everything you're doing for the program. I want to thank you for the inspiration you're setting for the younger players and congratulations to True Pro Development. It's happy to have you. You are, I think, the youngest player that we've had in the program. So we're so proud of you, man, and everything you've done. And, and uh, thank you for your time again, saying. Thank you. <laughs>